All right, Illini fans. Oh, what a game, what a game, what a game. So, what do we take away from this game? One, we have an identity. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Control the clock. Do some play action. Unfortunately, we have the most inaccurate quarterback I have ever seen. Art is terrible. He is terrible. How bad is the quarterback room when he's your starter? And Brandon Peters, the most scared, the most conservative quarterback I've ever seen, scared to throw a pass, scared to take a chance, but he ends the game with an accurate pass. Illinois wins. So the quarterback position, I've never seen it this bad ever. I'm not joking. I've never seen it this bad. So when you run the ball, control the clock, the defense gets to rest. They get to look over the the film, and they get a chance to adjust, and they can play good. And that's what they did. So it helps that Sean Clifford was hurt coming off injury. Still isn't 100%. That helps. But Illinois came out. They shocked Penn State by dominating the line, and they just ran that ball, and man, did they run that ball. What a game. What a game. So, Illinois has an identity. Illinois will be like Wisconsin. So, if you are a big offensive lineman who wants to smash people, come to Illinois. If you are a running back with breakaway speed, come to Illinois, you are going to get the ball. If you are a quarterback who could take advantage of play action passing, come to Illinois, you'll make a killing. If you are a receiver and you want to get tons of catches, come to Illinois. Think of it like Alabama type situation, a Wisconsin situation. This is going to be the identity. But right now, it's like Brett said, we don't have the quarterback to get it done. We don't have the offensive line that we will have, though the offensive line stepped up today, good for them. And they don't have the receiving the receivers they need to have. But with all that said, they showed a lot of heart, a lot of fight. They did themselves proud, and what a win. What a win. If you're a Penn State fan, you're sick to your stomach. You're going to throw up. You just lost to Illinois at home. No excuses. If you're a Penn State fan, you are sick. You're throwing up. So, Illinois, Chase Brown, 32 carries. Are you kidding me? 223 yards, 7 yards a carry. Josh McCray, 24 carries. 142 yards. Art had 10 carries. Once again, if you are a running back with breakaway speed who could take it to the house, if you want to get the ball over 20 times a game, come to Illinois. The receiving core, pathetic. But in in defense of the receiving core, how good can you be when Art is your quarterback, I mean, how good can you be? Um, not very good. So, um, what an exciting game. So, look at the total yards. Passing yards for Illinois, 38. Um, how do you win a game throwing the ball for 38 yards? Well, it helps when you run for over 400 yards. Um, well, over three, 363 yards rushing. Um Look at the first downs, 25 versus 15. Uh, Third down percentage, 50% for them. How good is that? Uh, Total plays. Look at the total plays. Look at the punts, penalties. Um, Illinois had two turnovers from fumbles and one off interception. And with all that said, they still won. Amazing. Time possession, 36 minutes, 25 seconds. That's what happens when you run the ball. So... Even with the turnovers, 
even with the most inaccurate quarterback in the world, even with 38 passing yards, Illinois still finds a way to win the game. Now, let's talk about what happened at the end of, the, end of regulation. I challenge anyone to tell me, when was the last time you seen a touchdown scored? And as the team was kicking the extra point, the referees stopped the game because they want to say there was pass interference and holding on the play. I challenge any of you to tell me an example of when this happened. Without a doubt, that was terrible officiating. You do not have a team start to kick an extra point and then call pass interference and holding. That is impossible to do. That should not be allowed to happen. Think about that. Now I want you to think I want you to really think about what happened. You score a touchdown. They say yes, it's a touchdown. Now you're going to kick your extra point. And then they say, Oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, holding on that. Um, pass interference on that. Never, ever will you see that. So some people might say the referees, they were in favor of Penn State being a number seven ranked team. They were in favor of them getting the win because that's more money for Penn State. If they can make it to a major bowl game, it's good for the Big Ten. Um, Illinois, they're not going to a bowl game most likely. So some people might say that's why the referees did that. You know, some people might say that. Um, some people might say that, um, you know, that 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 type of play just happens, um, even though it's never happened before that we can think of. Uh, you know, that's just the way it happens. But anyway, be that as it may, um, the referees against Illinois, the turnovers of Illinois, the most inaccurate quarterback in the history of college football for Illinois, uh, 38 passing yards, even with all that said, they get the win. Amazing. So Brett Bilema has he, he has shown us the identity of Illinois football, and it is to run that ball. And I cannot stress enough that I don't care what defense you have. When you control the clock, when you have a defense that's rested, when you have a defense that's getting coached up in game about what the offense is trying to do against them, that's going to make your defense better, period. I don't care what defense you have. So if Illinois can continue to pound the ball and please get somebody at the quarterback position who can make an accurate pass through play action, you do those two things, Illinois is going to cause a lot of trouble in the Big Ten. They really will. So they got an identity now, and I'm all for it. So um, what a win for Illinois. Um, last thing I'll say is, once again, if you are running back with breakaway speed, please come to Illinois. You'll be a superstar. If you are a quarterback who's accurate, please come to Illinois. You'll be a superstar. If you are a receiver who can run routes and you have speed, you can catch, please come to Illinois. You'll be a superstar. Offense alignment, if you're big, strong, and love to smash people, come to Illinois. You'll be a superstar. That's what we need. We have an identity now, and, I, and I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see it. I, like, you know, the one thing about it is you could be a bad team, but show me an identity. Because if you don't have an identity, you, you have nothing. So if nothing else, Illinois has shown us an identity. And I'm all in favor of that. So congratulations to the coach, to the coaches, to the team. Um, just to everyone, great, great, great win on the road, a huge upset, and they got it done. They got it done against all odds, literally. If I would have told anyone that Illinois would throw for 38 yards in the passing game, 
Illinois would have gave away three turnovers and had zero. <clears throat> if I would have said that, who would have said Illinois would have won? Nobody. Nobody. Illinois, a minus three in the turnover game. Illinois, 38 passing yards. Illinois wins the game. No, impossible. Ain't going to happen. But it did. So, huge, huge, huge day by Chase Brown, Josh McCray, and the offensive line. The defense played very well. Um, just a big-time win. So, congratulations. And let's see where we go from here. Where do we go from here? We'll see. But huge win. Congratulations. And ILL, I and I. It's about time.